Hi, this is Professor Laws, and we're going to take a look at personal protective equipment in detail. This is what every healthcare personnel needs to know. So let's start with the basics. What is PPE? Well, it's personal protective equipment, and it includes gloves, gown, goggles, or face shields, and masks. So why is this so important for the healthcare team? Well, these four pieces of protective equipment can prevent you as a healthcare provider from contracting diseases. Now, two important benefits first. So it protects the healthcare personnel that protects you because those four pieces of equipment create a barrier between you and the infectious germs. And it helps us protect patients by pre help us prevent spreading the infections. Now, the types of PPE varies with the type of precaution that's required. So how many of these pieces of accoutrement you will need to wear depends on what type of transmission precautions the patient is experiencing. Now, just as a quick review, contact precautions require gown and gloves. Droplet precautions require surgical masks within three feet of the patient. Airborne precautions require particulate respirator and even a negative pressure isolation room. Now don't forget also with those droplet precautions you're going to want to protect your eyes. Now there's a very specific order for putting on PPE. First you put on the gown. Next you put on the mask or respirator. The third piece is your goggles or eye shield. And the fourth piece is your gloves. So let's break that down just a little bit more in our review. Step one, you put on the gown, and it's really important that it cover the torso from the neck to the knees. Also that it cover the arms all the way to the end of the wrist, and they have a cuff on them to keep that close around your wrist. These gowns will also wrap around the back, and they'll fasten in the back at the neck and the waist. Now the second step, putting on your mask or respirator. Make sure that you secure the mask with ties or the elastic band at the middle of the back of your head and the neck. Now you'll want to press on the mask or the respirator's flexible band at the bridge of their nose that will help it fit more closely and securely to your face. It's very important with the respirator that that fit very securely to your face. Now for the mask, you want, still want it to be snug fit right to your face and make sure that it is below your chin. For respirators, you need to have a fit check or a fit test to make sure that this is the appropriate respirator for you. I want to show you what fit testing can look like. You can see that's a series of tests and assessments. There has to be a trained evaluator. You can't do your own fit test. This has to be done by someone who's been trained in this. The goal is to make sure the respirator forms such a tight seal to your face that it's going to keep you safe. Now there's different types of respirators. You're going to want N95 or higher for some with airborne precautions, but you may try different styles or versions at your place of employment to see which one works best for you. So we've done step one, step two. Now we're at step three, putting on goggles or your eye shield. You want to place the goggles or the eye shield over your eyes and adjust the fit. Make sure that it's secure in the back of your head. Now in this picture, I'm showing you how you pull the gloves over the wrist, right? But this person should have an isolation gown on, so that's a note for you. After you've already have your gown on, you pull those gloves down, like you see in this picture. See that they're down over the wrist. Now you're ready to care for the patient. So let's look at how you've taken care of the patient. Now it's time to remove your PPE. Well, when you put it on, you put it on gown, mask or respirator, goggles or eye shield, and then gloves. But when you take it off, it's a different order. When you're taking off your personal protective equipment, first you take off the nastiest things, which are usually your gloves. Then you remove your goggles or eye shield, the gown, and then the mask or respirator. Now this next point is really important. If at any time while you're removing your PPE, if your hands become contaminated, stop. You must immediately wash your hands or use an alcohol-based sanitizer. Now let's look at how you remove your gloves. First, you want to pull the first glove off until it comes off inside out. Then put that glove in your remaining gloved hand. 
gently insert your ungloved hand at the top of the wrist and then turn that second glove inside out while pulling it away from your body. You always want to take PPE off away from your body. When you use this method, the first glove should be inside the second glove like you see in that picture. Next, when you remove your goggles or your face shield, remember the outside of the goggles or shield are considered contaminated, so be careful when you're handling those. Remove from the back by lifting the headband from the back without touching the outside of the goggles. If you do, you need to wash your hands well. Now I'm going to show you two options on how to remove your gown, and it's really just personal preference. Remember the outside is always considered dirty or contaminated. So now that you've taken your gloves off and your eye shield off, when you're untying the gown, reach back behind you, make sure your sleeves don't contact your own body because those are contaminated. Pull the gown away from your neck and shoulders, turn the gown inside out, and fold or roll it into a bundle and discard an infectious waste container. Now I'm going to show you another option. Now this person still has their glove and mask on, so I want you to not pay attention to that because we're going to just pretend that they have already taken those off. So when you're removing your gown, you want to, instead of untying your gown, this is a method I use because I'm not very patient. Touch only the outside of the gown. Now you do want your gloves on if you're going to do this process. So you touch the outside of your gown with your gloves on, pull that away, pull the front of the gown away from your body so the ties break. When you're removing the gown, peel off your gloves at the same time and be careful to only touch the inside of the gloves and gown with your bare hands. Fold or roll into a bundle and discard it in an infectious waste container. Now when you're taking the mask or respirator off, remember you do that outside the room with the patient's door closed. The front of the mask or respirator is contaminated, so don't touch that. Grasp the bottom ties or elastics of the mask or respirator, then the top ties and remove without touching the front. Now people often ask, can we reuse N95 masks? They're intended for single use, but can be used in times of shortage. What's important is what OSHA has said, reuse is acceptable if the mask maintains its structural and functional integrity and the filter isn't physically damaged or soiled. So while that's not something we're comfortable with, with the shortage you've seen with COVID-19, unfortunately, healthcare providers have had to do this. So looking at these contact precautions, Make sure with contact you're using gloves and gown and you're taking them off before you leave the room. With droplet precautions, your eyes, nose, and mouth are covered before you leave the room and you want to take them before you leave, take them off before you leave the room. With airborne precautions, the difference is you exit the room before you take off the N95 respirator. Shut the door, then it's safe to remove the respirator. So let's wrap up this video. PPE is personal protective equipment intended to keep healthcare personnel from being exposed to infectious microorganisms and from spreading that to others. The most common types of PPE are gowns, mass respirators, goggles or face shields, and gloves. Full PPE should also be put on in the same order. Gowns, then your mask or respirator, goggles and face shield, and gloves. PPE should be removed in this order. Gloves, goggles, eye shield, gown, and mask and respirator. If a healthcare personnel's hands become contaminated at any point when you're taking off that PPE, make sure you immediately wash your hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Thanks for watching our video.